各位记者朋友，大家下午好。Good afternoon. Welcome to the press conference. No questions, please. Question from Reuters. Special Representative for Eurasian Affairs, Li Hui, will visit Ukraine, Russia, Poland, France, and Germany this week. Can you confirm any more details on his itinerary and the order of the countries he will visit and who he will meet? Will he go to Ukraine today? Thank you. Ritchie 关于经济安保的附属声明如果七国集团国家真正关注经济安全的话，就应当要求美国立即停止以国家安全为名，行打压遏制他国之实，停止滥施单边霸。National security stop bullying others, stop coercing its allies to form exclusive cliques, stop disrupting global industry and supply chain security and stability, and stop dividing the world into two markets and systems. This is the number one threat to the world economy at the moment. The U.S. has been browbeating relevant countries into decoupling from China economically, imposing a Scientech blockade on China, and wantonly suppressing Chinese companies. This has nothing to do with fair competition, but seriously violates market economy principles and WTO rules. If the G7 countries are truly concerned about economic security, they should urge the U.S. not to seek a solution to its debt default problem by constantly raising the debt limit, correct its practice of aggressive adjustments of monetary policies, and not to shift its domestic risks to the whole world. If the G7 countries are truly concerned about economic security, they should take prompt action to identify the perpetrators of the Nord Stream pipeline blast and hold them accountable to safeguard the security of important trans national infrastructure. We urge the U.S., Japan, and other members of the G7 Club of Rich Countries to refrain from advancing the interest of their small clique at the expense of the rest of the international community. We hope they will follow the trend of our times for inclusiveness and openness and think of tangible ways to contribute to world peace, stability, and development. We call on Japan not to be complicit in economic coercion and hold a candle to the devil during its rotating G7 presidency. 下一个问题 Next question, please. Tontai华语环球节目中心记者提问，今天禁止化学武器公约第五次审议大会在荷兰海牙。CCTV, the fifth review conference of the CWC is being held today in Hague, Netherlands, with China's expectation. The conference evaluates the CWC's implementation status and sets out priorities for the upcoming five years. It is of great significance for enhancing global security governance and safeguarding international peace and security. In recent years, the CWC faces serious challenges. The destruction of Japan's ACWs in China has been delayed for 
multiple times, which becomes the most realistic challenge to realizing a world free of chemical weapons. Out of selfish political interests, some countries use the hotspot issues of chemical weapons to engage in political manipulation, severely disrupted the political settlement of certain issues, and plunged the OPCW into political confrontation. Certain countries abuse export control, obstruct the peaceful use of science and technology in the chemical field, causing serious concern from developing countries. China calls on state parties to face up to problems and challenges, bolster unity and cooperation, and jointly safeguard the authority of the CWC. To this end, efforts should be made in three aspects. First, to realize the goal of building a world free of chemical weapons, we should urge Japan to earnestly fulfill its obligation fully and faithfully implement the new destruction plan in its entirety and make every effort to accelerate the disposal process of ACWs. Second, we should take stock of the lessons learned on issues such as chemical weapons in Syria, turn the tide on political manipulation. Third, we should focus on long-term concerns of developing countries, further prioritize the peaceful use of science and technology in the chemical field and formulate effective action plans. As an original state party to the CWC and the second largest contributor to the OPCW, China always faithfully fulfilled its international obligations and is committed to upholding the authority of the CWC. China will continue to follow the global security initiative proposed by President Xi Jinping, practice true multilateralism, deeply involve itself in the CWC review process, and work with all parties for positive outcomes of the conference through consensus. Next question, please. Tass. Tass, Hungarian Foreign Minister started his visit to China today, and previously he said on social media that Europe is in the zeal for war, so it's all the more important for peace. Um, Hungary supports China's peace plan. Do you have any comment? What's China's expectation for this visit? China appreciates the Hungarians' efforts to promoting European peace. We would like to work with the rest of the world, including Hungary, to continue to play a constructive role in the political settlement of the Ukraine crisis. China welcomes uh, the Hungarian foreign minister who will attend the third China CEEC Expo to be held in Zhejiang from May 15th and 16th. Um, the foreign minister will have an extensive exchange of views on bilateral relations, China CEE cooperation, and China-Europe relations. Hungary is an important country in CE in uh, the Central and Eastern Europe region and an important partner of China. We believe that the Foreign Minister's visit will be a full success and enrich the comprehensive strategic partnership between the two countries. Next question, please. 谢谢发言人深圳卫视执行文记者提问 TV, the Arab League recently conveyed a special foreign minister's meeting which agreed to re-admit Syria to the group which has received extensive attention. But the U.S. Uh, the, but someone say that the US, this is not what the U.S. wants to see. What's your comment? As what China pointed out before, Syria's return to the Arab League is conducive to the strength and unity of Arab states, accelerated development and revitalization of the Arab world and peace and stability in the Middle East. This serves the long-term interests of Arab states. No matter from which perspective, readmitting Syria into the Arab League is something delightful. However, certain country is an exception. The U.S. unabashedly criticized and put pressure. The spokesperson openly opposed the readmission of Syria into the Arab League and the normalization of relations between U.S. allies and Syria. 
U.S. lawmakers even openly denounced the Arab League. In fact, it was because of the U.S. pressure and sanctions that Syria suffered from 12 years of war with related catastrophic sequence consequences lasting until now. Syria's return to the Arab League once again proves that when the shadow cast by Washington gets smaller, the light of peace shines brighter. The U.S. and a few countries call games led by themselves as rules and subverting regimes of other countries as spring, and condemns every action that does not serve their selfish, hegemonic interests. This kind of distorted political correctness is not applicable anymore. We noted that the Syrian Foreign Ministry in the latest statement emphasized the dialogue, mutual respect, and the common interests of Arab countries, which reflect the common aspiration of regional countries. We believe that with concerted efforts of all parties, Arab countries will realize unity, revitalization. Next one, please. A question from uh, Bloomberg on the uh, sentencing to life imprisonment for a Hong Kong resident and U.S. passport holder, uh, a man by the name of John Xingwan Liang. Uh, does the foreign ministry have any more details on the life sentence uh, given to this uh, U.S. Uh, passport holder? Any more details about the crime? Um, and so on. Thank you so much. The Sudo court has released a readout on the specific case which you may refer to. Next question, please. Xiaofan人,呃,新华社记者提问,据报道,美国参议员约翰·肯尼迪对墨西哥发表侮辱性言论。it is reported that U.S. Senator John Kennedy made offensive remarks on Mexico, saying that without U.S. support, Mexicans would be eating cat food out of a can and living in a tent. The senator urged the U.S. to launch troops to crack down on Mexico tra trafficking during a hearing on Fentanyl. As a response, Mexican Foreign Minister on May 11th announced John Kennedy a personal non grata and an ignorant racist. What's China's response? We noted the remarks. We this once again shows that the U.S. is bullying and the ignorance of nature on treating Mexico and other Latin American and Caribbean neighboring countries. The U.S. has been seeking selfish interests at the expense of these countries. I want to stress that the drug abuse in the U.S. Um, has the root cause in itself. The U.S. should respect the facts, correct its mistakes, and stop shifting blames. Settling the drug issue needs concerted efforts of the international community. The U.S. should not wantonly abuse military uh, forces to interfere in other countries' internal affairs. China supports Mexico in safeguarding its sovereignty and independence and oppose foreign interference, and we would like to contribute to drug management in the world and countering down on drug trafficking. Next question, please. Thank you. Question from Reuters. Canada's Minister for Public Safety said yesterday that there may be many more secret Chinese police stations operating in Canada. Can the spokesperson provide any comment? Thank you. We have on multiple occasions stated our position on these remarks. There is no so-called police station. The relevant institutions provide a service for Chinese citizens who cannot return to China due to the pandemic. Um, these services concern the change of certificate and the relevant physical examination for their driving licenses. The relevant personnel are local Chinese. Uh, people from the local Chinese community, and they are not a Chinese uh, police personnel. After the um, pandemic situation changes, the relevant station has been closed. We urge Canada to stop spreading fake news and stop discrediting China. Next question, please. Turkish Radio Television. 
Unofficial results from Turkey's presidential election on Sunday show President Erdogan leading but not able to get 50% of the vote in the first round while securing a majority in the parliament. Uh, does China have any comment about the initial results of the Turkish election? Thank you. We noted the presidential and the parliamentarian election in Turkey. China and Turkey are strategic partners. We would like to work with the Turkey side to promote the sound and stable development of bilateral relations. Next question, please. On May the 12th, the Committee on the Elimination of Discrimination Against Women considered the ninth periodic reports of China. Could you share more details on this? On May 12th, the Committee on the Elimination of Discrimination Against Women gave its consideration to the ninth periodic reports submitted by China. Head of the delegation and vice chairperson of the National Working Committee on Women and Children under the State Council, Huang Xiaowei, led the representatives from the central government, the Hong Kong SAR and the Macau SAR, to attend the event. They noted that the Chinese government attaches great importance to gender equality and the all round development of women. At the global leaders' meeting on gender equality and women's empowerment, and at the high level meeting on the 25th anniversary of the Fourth World. World Conference on Women in Beijing in 2020, President Xi Jinping put forward an important proposition that the protection of women's rights and interests should be integrated into national norms and rules, and we need to ensure that women advance at the forefront of our times. Since that review in 2014, China has continued to improve the legal system for protection of women's rights and interests, implement the National Action Plan for all around development of women, and improve the conditions for women, we put by first and foremost and significantly improve women's rights to education and we eliminate all forms of violence against women to our best capacity and promote women's broad participation, decision making and management. The women's cause in China has made historic achievements and scaled new heights and at the 20th National Congress of the CPC, uh, we also made it very clear that it's impossible to achieve a harmonious world without women's wide participation and we will do more to uh, reform and protect the system, ensuring women's equal rights. And the representatives from the Hong Kong SAR and the Macau SAR also elaborated on the positive progress in the implementation of the convention. And the committee experts commended China's efforts in promoting women's rights, noting that China has made notable progress in implementing the anti-domestic violence law the promulgating of uh, the civil code and the rights to protect women's rights and interests. And uh, the Chinese delegation also took questions from the committee experts and gave a very detailed and a thorough explanation of what the Chinese government is doing for the best of the women. And uh, the Chinese government will continue to consider the constructive advice put forward by the committee and continue to promote the women's rights and interests with the rest of the international community. Uh, the U.S. has condemned the reported sen sentencing of the human rights activist Guo Feixiong, uh, claiming uh, American diplomats were blocked from attending his trial and calling on China to immediately allow Mr. Guo to travel to the U.S. Uh, what is China's comment? On that. Thank you. 美国谴责中方判决人权活动人士郭飞雄，呃，并且也反对中方。哎，严格。China's judicial authorities handle relevant cases in strict accordance with law, and China's judicial sovereignty uh, does not brook interference. Next question, please. Thank you. 
there is a hearing recently saying that a Hong Kong judicial court, the U.S. condemned um, Hong Kong, the institution that you mentioned has made irresponsible remarks on China's internal affairs and discredited China It has no political sincerity whatsoever. I want to stress that Hong Kong affairs are purely China's internal affairs and do not brook external interference. Hong Kong is uh, under the rule of law. The Hong Kong court, Hong Kong judges, handle cases in accordance with the basic law of Hong Kong and national security law in Hong Kong SCR. Their judicial power does not brook interference the U.S. should. We urge the U.S. to stop meddling in Hong Kong affairs in any form, stop undermining Hong Kong's prosperity and stability, and stop interfering in China's internal affairs. Next question, please. Uh, Huan Jiu's report. Given, Global Times, according to reports, EU High Representative for Foreign Affairs and Security Policy Joseph Borrow said on May the 12th after the informal meeting that foreign ministers gave broad backing to EU's planned recalibration of its strategy on China. Borrow stressed that the EU has to compete with China. He said that de-risking means to review economic relations with China. And the aim is not to decouple, but to rebalance the relationship. What's your comment? China always views its relationship with Europe from a strategic height and long-term perspective. We see Europe as a comprehensive strategic partner and follows a Europe policy featuring stability and continuity while appreciating the EU's statements of not subscribing to a zero-sum game. We see its perception of China, the triptych of rival partner and competitor, as self-contradictory. In fact, China and Europe have broad common interests with cooperation and consensus far surpassing competition and disagreements. We hope the European side will not be biased by ideological difference, rise above external disruption, uphold strategic autonomy, form its independence and objective perception of China, and adopt a positive and rational China policy. This best serves its interests. As the Chinese side has stressed repeatedly, the de-risking rhetoric is based on the false rhetoric. China-Europe economic and trade cooperation enjoys a sound foundation, fruitful outcomes, and enormous potential. China can be an important partner for the EU. We hope the European side will provide a fair and non-discriminatory business environment for Chinese companies and avoid politicizing economic and trade issues. In a world of profound changes and fluid international landscape, the global significance and strategic influence of relations between China and Europe to constructive forces and sources of stability has become even more pronounced. Just as State Councilor and Foreign Minister Qing Gong said, China and Europe need to keep an open mind and respect and support the development path independently chosen by the people of all countries around the world. We need to view history correctly and progressively, jointly reject new Cold War, and lead by example in promoting coordination and sound interaction between major countries. As we mark the 20th anniversary of comprehensive strategic partnership between China and the EU, we stand ready to work together with the EU to fully resume exchange at all levels, revitalize dialogue and cooperation across the board, ensure the sound and steady growth of relations, and inject new impetus into world peace, stability, and prosperity. Next question, please. Thank you. Question from Reuters. The South China Morning Post reported yesterday that there was a confrontation between Chinese and Vietnamese ships in the Vanguard Bank, an area of the South China Sea claimed by both Vietnam and China. Can China provide any comment on these reports? We are not aware of the relevant situation. Next one, please.
Thank you. Another question from Reuters. Uh, Yon Hap reported today that South Korean football player Son Jun Ho has been detained in Liaoning province. Can the foreign ministry provide any information about the case or any comment? I'm not aware of what you mentioned. Next one, please. Anything else? That's all for today. Thank you.